Do you have any personal experiences with Ed's storytelling? Laura Rosher, Boston, um, Massachusetts. I, it, I don't really have a sense of like long stories that he told, but I have memory of a number of vignettes of, of stories that he would share. And one of the, the stories that I remember um, him sharing was about his experience flying. And he talked about how, um, you know, here, here I am, the, this sort of very visible person, the director of the department, um, the director of rehabilitation, I'm sorry, here I am, the director of rehab in California. I'm known by so many people. I travel internationally, and I'm, in a sense, as Chris said, sort of the star of his life. And, and he talked about how as soon as he got on a plane, he was brought down to the level of being the common cripple, that he was treated as a piece of luggage or as just another he was, he was reminded that even though he was a star in some ways, he was like every other disabled person who was experiencing discrimination and experiencing exclusion and mis, sort of mistreatment or paternalized, p paternalization. Um, and it, that, that's a story that really struck with me because I think so many people had that experience where you feel that you're making gains and then you're thrown into a situation where all of a sudden you're treated like baggage. And Ed had a, really conveyed that um, in a powerful way that helped you, helped me understand that it wasn't just people treating me that way, but even someone like Ed was still being treated um, as a second-class citizen. Um, and he, he had, you know, he still had his spirit, even though he was still experiencing that kind of discrimination.